<laughs> yeah. You probably wonder why I'm so excited. I'm excited. <laughs> you want to know why I'm excited, don't you? I don't give a damn why you're excited. Well, the reason I'm excited is because my five-year-old daughter is away. <laughs> like, seriously, like, you don't even understand what it's like when you have a five-year-old. Like, every day is, like... Imagine having 50 puppies and you have to just try to maintain all of them. You got all the, no, stop. That's one five-year-old is equivalent to 50 puppies. 50 puppies. That's for real. I'm telling you, it is not. I ain't had this much energy in three months. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do first. <laughs> and that's what it's like when you have, when you have kids. Look, if you're young and you ain't got no kids, Get your pullout game right. Your pullout game need to be strong. I'm telling you, like, if you even in the vicinity of orgasmic pleasure, <sighs> shoot that shit any way you want to shoot it, but <laughs> I ain't even know how my boy, my boy swim well. My... <sighs> I'm telling you, get your pullout game. You should practice, you know. Get your pullout game correct. You know the thing about kids are kids are great. Um, they're important because otherwise this would be a barren wasteland of an earth, over overgrown with, with vegetation and weird animals. I don't know what. What would happen if they, if none of if we stop producing them all? Like the last of the humans were made. Like what would like okay we would die off and then. But the earth would sustain itself. I would, it, we, the earth would be, yes. He said, I got asthma. <clears throat> Make sure you write when you have kids. Like, people just have kids. Like, it's just, <laughs> you know, people just have kids. That have, like, I don't get it. I don't get it. Why? Okay, you're sitting there. You got a nice place. You and your partner got a nice place. And you go out every weekend, have a little dinner. Maybe take a little trip every now and then. And then and then one of y'all, her, one of y'all decides, Hey, let's forget all this happiness and this comfort and get being well rested and let's let's throw children in the mix. <laughs> Look, I love I love my kids, but I'm telling you, like, people don't get it. They don't get what it's like. Look, if you ain't if you uh, thinking about kids, this video is for you. If you think about kids, let me tell you right now. This is what you can look forward to. You like to nap on a Saturday afternoon? You like napping? Say goodbye to that shit. That shit is gone. You ain't, mm -mm. Uh, uh You like this. Like, I gotta stay awake. Because you go to sleep, all kinds of shit will happen. I'm just, my, <laughs> telling kids will do anything while you sleep. My daughter tore all her, uh, her she tore her books apart. She dressed the cat up. The dog is walking around with a toy up his ass. It's just, you don't know what the hell you're going to end up with. You wake up. I, I, take, I fell asleep, took a nap, woke up, gone in her room, like, slowly and scared. Like, oh, Lord, I just fell asleep for two hours. She was in there alone for two hours. And then you go in the room, and it looked like, it looked like the movie Twister. Just pages of books ripped up, and, and she, she loves to draw, so there's pencils and markers and Shit drawn on pieces of paint pulled off the damn wall. The dog's looking at me like, please, God, get me out of here. Two of y'all against one. This me and my woman against a five-year-old, and she's still winning. We got to tag team each other to just stay in the game because the energy level one five-year-old has an energy level of 50 adults. See? See? It's the 50 to one ratio. One child is equivalent to 50 puppies. And one child's energy is equivalent to 50 adults' energy. 50 over 40 adults' energy. Because an adult over 40, when they wake up, they wake up at about 45%. If you could equate it to a cell phone, we wake up with about a 40% cell phone. And you know when your cell phone is only 40%, you already panic. Because you're like, oh man, I gotta be, I gotta be efficient with this little bit of energy. Because this, this ain't gonna last a long time. How do I get it back up? And all you think of when you wake up, the first thing you think of when you wake up on a Saturday morning is, whew, it's only about three and a half hours till nap time. That's what, it, that's what it's like when you got kids. And it's worse on weekday because, see, this is what other people they don't think about is that you, you have to have a job. 
and the other person has to have a job. So you got two people working, and you got a child. So now, you see, you see what I'm saying? You see where I'm going? Now you both go to work. Eight hours a day you go to work. You got to get up in the morning. First, you got to get up in the morning. You got to get this child ready. You got to make breakfast for this child. You got to get this child out the door. They got annoying as hell when it's trying to get out the door. You got to get them dressed. Get your clothes on. 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 You got to do all that shit. You got to make them something to eat. I don't like this for breakfast. I don't like this for breakfast. So you got to get all that bullshit done. Then finally, you get them dressed. You get out the door. You drop them off at school. And then you got to go put in eight hours of work. And then guess what? Work day is over. And you know what people with no kids do? When the work day is over, they go like this. Oh, I can't wait to just go home and sit on the couch. And just enjoy a little television. Maybe a little something to eat. Maybe a little nap. That's what you do when you ain't got no kids and work day is over. Uh, when you got kids, you go like this. You as a parent, you got to get that coffee in. Because you like, I guess I still got to run it about another three hours when I get home. Cause you don't get to turn off when you get home. You get to turn back on on some different shiz. And let me tell you, you go pick up that child from school. You go over, you go to school. Your spirits are good. Hey, I'm gonna pick her out. And she comes up and she's happy. You like, Yay, and then you give you because oh my little girl. And how is your day? And it's all wonderful. And then all of a sudden, you go. She goes like this. And I go, no, we're not going to go to the restaurant. Daddy's going to go home, make you some dinner. And we're going to go over your homework. And then you got to go to bed. And then she stops in the middle of the street. I am going to walk and follow your rules. See what I mean? Now, your whole demeanor has to change. Hey, get your worst in the car. Hey, come on, get this in the car. I'll get you home. Because, you know, because other parents, they, <laughs> I don't know what to do with them. And then, <laughs> get your ass in the car. You got to get your ass. Now, sit down. No, sit right, sit right. Because they get in the car and they stretch out. They don't want to sit right. Sit your worst one. Put your seat down. I don't want to sit. Put your seat. Put the seatbelt on. Take them home. Now you piss. Now your mood is all messed up. That's what having kids is like. Saturday morning comes up. You spend all damn day with them. From 5.30 in the morning, because no time, no matter what time that damn kid go to sleep, they waking up at 5.30. My daughter is up at 5.30. She go to bed at 5 o'clock in the morning, and she is up at 5.30. What are we going to do now? They're up, and they ready. I just know. I just be looking at her mother like, mm. <sighs> You get up. You got to make them breakfast. They want to play. They want to make mess. You tell them to stop. You want to pick that up. Pick that up, sit down, go over here, do this. All day. Then you're tired at the middle of the day. You want a nap. Take a nap. What I tell you happen when you take a nap. You take a nap, it create havoc. Then you wake up from your nap, part two, and all you're doing, the only thing you do usually when you have kids is you wait until the next sleep period for yourself and for them. When is their bedtime? Their bedtime is four hours away. <sighs> <laughs> that's what having kids is like so that's why yay i'm excited because i got a few hours of none of that but it doesn't matter though cause the party continues it later on today when she gets back from my activity she's not gonna come back tired not nah. five years on come back tired they'll be tired in the car they'll sleep in the car you drive home and you <sighs> They get out the car. You know what that little 12-second nap did? Their battery life. A kid's battery life is like a brand new cell phone. You ever put a brand new cell phone? It'd be like 82%. You put it in. You plug it in. And then like two seconds later, it's back to 100. That's that's children right there. They're tired as hell. They'd be in the car. They're tired. And, I'm tired. and then, and then that, you drive about four miles. You get home. 20 minutes of driving, less than that. You get home, they like this. Oh, battery like this. Back up, 100, ready to go. You tired as hell. You was hoping to wear them out, taking them out. You ain't doing nothing but energize them. That's all you did. Now you even more tired. Your 40% is down to 22% right now. You getting warnings on your goddamn life. You are running out of energy. You need to recharge right now. That's it. That's what having kids is like. They don't shut off. There's no off switch. They are on all the time. And they get older. And the older they get, the more ish they need.
They cute when they babies. That's why women want them. Women want them. Oh, look at the baby. It smells so good. Look at the tiny little clothes you put. That's what women see. Women don't see nothing else. When a woman want to have a baby, all they see is, look at you put a little headband on with a flower on it. It's so pretty. And look, look how little the little Nikes are. Little teeny Nikes. They like all that shit. That's it. They forget they're going to become teenagers. They're not going to give a damn what you say. They ain't going to listen. They're going to throw parties in your house. They're going to steal your shit. They're going to wreck your cars. They're going to scratch your shit up when you ain't looking. How I get this damn scratch on my car? Scratch your shit. Money missing out your wallet. You think you even lost your damn mind. They jacking you, man. They robbing the shit out of you all the time. That's what having kids is like. That's what it's all about. So think about that the next time you about to bust that ass. You looking at your woman, I'm going to tear her ass up. Kind of police. I'm getting in that ass tonight. Pull out game. Better be strong, baby. Really strong. Wrap up, strap up, or get your, you know, I don't know. We're we going to call these the pull outs. You, you don't need no push ups, no pull ups. Pull outs. Do some pull outs. Practice it. Get your legs right. Get your legs in position. And watch it because she will grab your ass cheeks right during orgasm. You be like, oh. Oh, oh, oh. She's gonna get you. Grab your ass cheeks like this tight. And they strong as hell when you about to orgasm. Watch how strong they are. Grab your ass cheeks. That's why your pullout game gotta be strong. You gotta get your legs right for the pullout game. So when she grabs her cheek, she be like, Because you, you, you did your pullouts. Every day, 50 pullouts. You'll think before it. You'll sleep better. Okay? And if all else fails, get yourself the Cummins condom. Or the Benford birth control. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> that's it. I'm just, I'm just, let me go finish being happy. I just want to do this real quick. And look, if you like it, if you like it, you like it. If you like it, I want you to hit that button. Like it. And, um, of course, comment. Comment. Let me know what you think. If there's any truth to what I'm saying. If I'm just talking bullshit. The children are a joy. You're full of shit. Then let me know. Let me know, okay? Comment. Or tell me something else. Tell me another story that I can make a story of for you, okay? And that's it. And of course, I want you to, how they say it, smash the, smash the subscribe button. Subscribe to this. Because I got a whole lot of shit to say. A lot. Like, comment, subscribe. Like, comment, subscribe. Ugh. Okay? Ugh. <laughs> And stay tuned because I got a lot of stuff coming up. All right? All right? Anyway, I'm out. I'm going to go be happy for a little while. I'm going to be happy right now. Like I said. I know I'm getting old. I shouldn't even be getting dizzy this fast. Yeah. <sighs>